Okay, so I wasn't going to do this today. I wasn't going to start this larger project. This is once again, as, we as I talked about in my last rambling video, this is eight feet long, six feet high. And um, I really wasn't going to start it. I wanted to build up to it. But I'm so excited about the, the ideas I have. I kind of can't control myself. So I've started the next, the next stage of my painting which is putting in basic shapes using aerosols. And what I have are a dozen or so hands in the air. Hands, they could be reaching up. Um, an outline of my friend Melanie Moore from Providence, and then two silhouettes of women on either side. It's basically the same women, but woman, but the image flipped. And when I originally came up with this idea a few years ago, the hands, um, that was before Hands Up became part of the movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. And what I wanted to do were silhouettes of figures, um, basically in grays and whites and blues, um, below these very colorful hands in the air. I have this laid out. I kind of know what I want to do, but since I did a painting on this, a similar idea, based on this a few years ago where there was a lot of design in the hands and then I overpainted the faces and they went all wrong. I'm going to take this and put it aside because I've got the basic shapes, the basic idea, the notations made so I can pick it up later. I'm not going to spray in any shapes or any more colors until I know clearly what I want to do. Whether it's silhouetting the hands and the arms or silhouette, silhouette, silhouetting silhouetting the faces. Although I will do, I know I want to do some detail in Melanie, because she's got a beautiful, great face. And she's got this, in the reference material, she has a fantastic afro. Ow! How did I step on? Oh, something. Oh, well. And this is the, this is, I think this may be the third video I've made today. I don't normally feel this good because um, of my RSD, not lately, not in a long time. So I'm taking advantage of it and tiring everyone out with my rambling. So what I'm going to start now in this video is Leslie Jones. And as I've talked about before, I really love and respect Leslie Jones so much. I love her. I think she's hysterical and strong and courageous. And she don't take no crap, which I just, I really appreciate in a big woman. Because she's been told she's too big, she's not pretty enough. She wakes up every morning, and she is Leslie Jones from sunup to sundown. And I, it just kills me. I think she's great. Oh, I'm, find a, I'm looking for a uh, push pen. Here we go. So I'm going to hang Leslie up over here, and usually I have chalk so I can lay out the figure in chalk. Boy, I'm a mess today. There it is. Um, usually I lay out the figure in chalk, but I don't have any, or I packed it and put it somewhere and I can't find it. So I'm just going to do what I usually do anyway, what I do regardless, which is lay, lay the figure out in aerosol. I'm starting with blue today. Usually it's orange. I don't know why I'm starting with blue. I just am. But I'm going to paint, Leslie is going to be there. And I have to kind of cut it off where, I have to kind of cut off the reference material where I need it, where it fits the canvas, where I get a little confused. Now I love the shapes, the black shapes in this. I love the abstractness and I don't really want to cover it. So I'm going to try and go a little bit lighter. I love the way her hands are. They're just so full of energy and excitement. And I have a thing for hands anyway. You know what, you know what maybe. All right, I'm actually not going to go for, as far down as that picture is. Not. All right, I kind of screwed up because the, the blue shapes that I'm putting in aren't quite lining up with the reference material. So I'm going to make her 
head a little bit larger, which I wanted to do anyway. I love her expressive face. So instead of sticking, instead of sticking to this or this, I'm just rethinking. I'm rethinking just a little bit. I try and be flexible in, in what I'm going to do, what I want to do, what I think I want to do. Otherwise, I get filled with frustration from the moment I start. Now I could decide to move, even though I've got her, the outline of her face in here, I may decide to shorten it, bring it up a little bit, but I love her hair, so I want the top of her hair up. I also want to catch this in her face, those black lines. So I'm just going to go down like this. Now, if anyone's wondering, no, I don't do graffiti. I'm 53 years old, and I'm fat, I'm kind of crippley, and I don't like climbing walls, and running away from police is, like, would be an impossible thing for me to accomplish. So, I would never pretend to be that overgrown, fat idiot, Mr. Uh, Mr. Brainwash. And I would never never pretend to be the incredibly talented Shepard Ferry or one of the millions of great graffiti artists in New York and in Boston and all those wonderful cities where people are talented. I do not pretend to be a graffiti artist on any level. It's a whole nother kettle of fish, a whole nother talent. What I love to do is paint people and figures. Courageous people with great, strong value systems and, and caring and stand strong for what they know and what they love. So that's kind of it. Just a bunch of blue lines. And that's how I start my paintings, with a bunch of blue lines. Ooh. I'm going to come down like this, a little bit across there. Now, just because I've covered the blue lines right now doesn't mean anything, because I could decide I want the black showing through a little bit more, so I'm going to go over them with black gesso, most likely. The blue lines are a guide. Nothing is written in stone. As I just said, her shape could change. The placement of her face could change. The placement of the entire figure could change. It change with, changes when I wipe it off with a little bit of acetone or mineral spirits, but usually acetone, and then I just apply black gesso again so that I've got these great abstract shapes showing through or covering up the blue and giving me options again. And that's it. That's how I start my stuff. That's how I start these puzzles that I do. And I have to go feed a friend's cat, and no, that is not a euphemism for anything. I have to go feed her kitties, okay? So, off we go. Ciao.